Holy fuck, 150. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Look at me looking at you. What's up, everybody? I actually just finished the video and, um, it just uh, it just it just finished doing its thing, and uh, yeah, so I, I I'm gonna upload that. But then I figured while I'm here, I might as well do a little bit of some Q and A action, and have a little bit of fun with you folks. Um, let's see here, what's going on in chat? Two hundred and fifty four people watching. This is nuts. Much more than my first one. Um, I got all kinds of stuff going on in there right now. I guess I shouldn't watch. You, or I should have done this in another channel so that I could actually see you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, USI Tech hasn't shut down. U.S. customers are no longer to buy. Okay. Um, I, 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 I saw this. So, actually, I'm going to move this over here and see. Uh, hold on a minute. You know what I'm going to do? Shit. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so I actually saw this. USI Tech Securities Fraud Emergency Cease and Desist issued in Texas. So I know that's creating some problems for them. And I know that the same thing is kind of happening with, um, no, I did not sell my Tron. I don't sell coins, peeps. I crow my coins. Um, yeah, and I know that, yeah, Rivera is also promoting the BitConnect Ponzi scheme. So there's a lot of stuff going on with USI Tech. I just saw that recently. I don't have any money in USI Tech. I've actually tried to tell some people to stay the hell out of it, but people people just kind of see that stuff, and they do what they're what they're going to do. Um, I bought Trax right after you mentioned it. Thanks, dude. You're welcome. Um, yeah, and you know what? I wanted to kind of go over something else real quick. So, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know, like, there's a bunch of stuff going on with USA Tech, USI Tech. Just stay out of it. Just stay away from this stuff, guys. I know I know when you're reading a lot of random stuff about crypto and you think you get that FOMO going and you're like, oh, my God, I don't want to miss out. Um, like, I'm seeing stuff about this BitConnect X. I'm not, I'm not messing with it. Yeah, you might be able to make some money with it, but, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not with it. 
I'm not with it. I think you could do a lot better with with more, um, with more like tangible, more I don't know, intangible. I guess you should say. So anyway, um, now that that's out of the way, I mean, looking at the market, Bitcoin's obviously on the rise, man. There, I mean, it dipped a little bit, um, but um, a lot of the altcoins, obviously, as is the case, anytime Bitcoin takes a spike, uh, the altcoins take a shit, and that's just the way it is. Uh, you know, I know Cardano was up to as high as a dollar thirty. No, I did not sell. I do not. I crow my coins. You guys need to crow your coins. Um, I'm holding them all. I'm not. I'm not. I don't buy the dips and swing trade anymore. I don't really mess with that stuff. A, I don't have the time. B, it's you know. I knew. Uh, well, Tron's back down to eighteen cents, but that's okay. I mean, here's what's going to happen, guys. You know, the market cap right now is seven hundred eighty-three billion dollars. Okay. When Bitcoin was twenty bucks or twenty thousand dollars, the market cap was like eight hundred billion. So it's pretty close to where it was, and and I know it's going back up. Bitcoin's probably going to end up at twenty grand again soon. And I, I mean, I'm guessing. I don't know. Um, but you know, for all you bot traders out there, stick your bots in sell only mode for a while because there's no real telling what the hell is going to be happening uh, with Bitcoin. It needs. In order for the bots to really do something effective, the, the the Bitcoin market needs to almost be sideways. It can it can go up and it can go down, but it really needs to be somewhat sideways for you to get the strongest returns over a period of 24 hours a week, um, so forth and so on. So you know that that's kind of the case with that. You know these coins dropping. If you're new to cryptocurrency, this is a like this is a constant thing. Cryptocurrency is kind of like watching an ocean come and go, the ebb and flow of the water hitting the banks, going back out. I mean, that's what happens. So don't be freaked out, you know, any of you guys that are watching some of these dips. It's really not a big deal. Uh, crow the coins. That's absolutely. Um, so here's the thing. You know, I know, you know, with a lot of you guys that I'm seeing, um, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll get to some questions before I get into Coinbase here. Let me see what's going on here in chat. Uh, you guys are going to dig the video that I'm actually going to be uploading after this live one. Um, it's it's basically the top five ICOs to buy on the exchange. Um, they're they're over. The ICOs have finished, uh, and and I I expect them all to probably do really well on the exchanges. So um, you guys will get a kick out of that video. I even show you guys uh, like an old fight of mine, and it's just at the beginning. It's kind of funny. You guys might get a kick out of it. Um, what should we buy right now? I can't tell you. Uh, here's the thing, guys. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, I'm not a financial advisor, so I cannot legally tell you what to go out and buy. All I can really do is tell you what I'm buying. Um, and right now, I've honestly been so busy with everything that's been going on, I haven't bought a coin. I haven't bought a coin since uh, whatever my last video was. I think it was Tron. That might have been the last coin I officially bought um, outside of ICOs. So... Um, and I think the last ICO I bought is actually on the video that I'm about to talk, that I'm going to be uploading tonight after I'm done with this live. Um, Dragon, Kane, Dragon Chain's a killer. Um, hey, Crow, do you think NXT coin is dead? No. Honestly, I don't think any coins are dead. Here's the thing. You, if you guys are really looking at things, if you look at some of the coins, um, like the, the really small, cheap coins... A lot of the trade volume is going into some of these really dirt cheap coins. Look at this. Kin coin. I don't even know what the hell Kin coin is, but it's still a fraction of a penny, and it's gone up 163%. I have no idea what that is. Um, Golem. I don't own a lot of Golem. I own. I, I bought a little bit, but it's, a, it's at a dollar. I mean, that's gone up, actually, but it's starting to take a dip. Um, Dragon Chains at 328 I mean, that's a beautiful thing. Ethos is at almost $10. Uh, I mean, man, I bought Ethos at two bucks. I told you guys about it at four bucks, and then it went up five bucks more. So those of you that were pissed off at me that I didn't tell, put up my Ethos video until it went up two bucks, um, you, if you did buy anyway, you still made five bucks a coin right there. So there you go. Can't say I don't give you anything, guys. I try. Uh, George, I'm using the Crypto Crow feeder settings. Okay. Uh, what wallet supports Mon? Kitcoin is for Kick social media app. You know, okay, that's cool. Actually, um, I, for whatever reason, I'm thinking I might own some kitten kick coin. <laughs> uh, let me double check here real quick in my folio. Uh, man, my portfolio has grown by like ten grand this week, and I haven't bought shit. 
Um, kin coin, kin coin. No, I guess I don't. If I do, I ha oh, I have kick coin. That was stupid. I mean, it's up 253%, but still kind of a stupid buy uh, at the time. So anyway, so yeah, that's where a lot of this money's going. Electronium is up 12, to, to 12 cents. Now that is good news. And I know they're launching their uh, mobile mining beta right now. And I think they're taking applications for that, which is driving the, the price up. So that is pretty sick. Um, I was mining Electronium. My mining rig was mining like 400 a day. But I, like I told you, I'm still selling it, by the way. Um, nobody seems to have four grand for it. Um, but I just can't run it, man. I do too much on the internet and the rest of the family. I just can't run uh, my miner anymore. Power Ledger, $1.43. So anyway, so that, I mean, the market's looking pretty good, even though a lot of them are taking dips. But you're going to see that a lot of the really cheap coins are going up because that's where people, you know, there's so much, so many new people coming into the market right now. And they don't really know what they're doing. So they're like, well, you know, I can buy 5,000 of these coins. They're barely a penny a piece. I'll just get some so that I have some crypto. That's kind of the mindset, which is fine. You know, because they're, you're you're not going to lose much if something happens to that coin. Um, wow, 444 people watching right now. I am dumbfounded by this, folks. Uh, really. I really hope you guys like the video I'm, I'm going to upload here in a little bit. So anyway, what I wanted to show you guys is I get a lot of questions from people like, how do I use Coinbase? How do I transfer out of Coinbase? And the one thing that nobody's really asking me is, how do I save money on Coinbase? Because... Coinbase is so freaking expensive. And what a lot of people don't realize is that Coinbase owns another exchange called GDAX. Okay? This is GDAX. Um, it's hard because there's, there's a delay. But this is GDAX. And this it's basically a simple exchange that you can use. Uh, it's owned by Coinbase. So what you can do is when you go to Coinbase, if you try to buy um, coins... You can buy your Bitcoin, and then you can you can you can set up a, a weekly or bi-weekly or monthly or whatever. Um, I don't even think this card works anymore. I haven't used it in so long. I know we canceled all our cards because I think my wife lost her wallet, um, something like that. So anyway, um, if you go to accounts, this is basically where you can control what you do. Now, if you buy USD on Coinbase. Instead of Ethereum, instead of Bitcoin, instead of any of this other stuff, if you just buy um, and deposit USD into Coinbase, you can transfer that. So if I had USD in here, I could transfer this to GDAX. Okay? So if I'm depositing USD, I'm going to deposit um, from my Coinbase account and... Okay, so this is this is for the Bitcoin address. So I can deposit, but you can deposit USD in here. You can deposit Ethereum. Um, basically, anything that Coinbase has, you can do it here. And that's basically where you select it. So Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin. Um, and when you get that, now I, I do think you have to verify both. Like you have to verify yourself on Coinbase pretty sure you have to verify yourself on GDAX, even though they're connected connected, and they're like sister companies. But you basically send your, if you want to avoid paying the really high fees and just buying Ethereum or Litecoin or whatever right on Coinbase, <clears throat> you just take your USD, you, you withdraw it from your Coinbase account into the deposit address on GDAX, okay? And then once it's here, you can set up market orders for the Ethereum. So let's say Ethereum is trading right now at $800. I know it's like a thousand bucks, but whatever. So let's just say it's trading at $800. Um, you can basically say, look, I'll buy it. You can put a market order in at $795. And if when Ethereum dips at all, you're basically buying your Ethereum and you're not, you're not being charged any fees. Even if you just use GDAX to buy the currencies on their exchange over directly purchasing it in Coinbase, I forget exactly what it is, to be honest, but I think it's like a, fr a fraction of a percent, okay? So it's ridiculously cheaper to just buy on GDAX and just go through the little process, deposit USD into your wallet, withdraw it from that wallet into the deposit address on GDAX, and then put, per put in a, a market order. 
and that's how you're going to eliminate a lot of fees okay so hopefully for those of you who understand what the hell i just said this should save you some money especially if you're making recurring uh purchases all right um Let's see here. Let's go over some questions. This isn't going to be a very long video. I mean, there's 517 of you guys watching. It's nuts. Uh, let's see here. Do you advise running the bot at all at this point? No, I don't. I don't. I'm not. I put my bot in sell only mode right now because it's just with the with the market where it's at. With um, hold on a second. Let me see if I uh, can pull up my coinage. Uh, BTC USD. All right, where is it? Where is it? So on here it's sixteen thousand six hundred and three dollars. Uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. It's not showing me my stuff. Well, I don't know what's happened with Coinage, and apparently it's just loading there, and I'm stalling out. <laughs> lag yeah sorry about that i'm not sure what's causing it um hold on a second here let me see if it's all there it is there it is oh that's btc bc i don't want that there we go all right so i mean just looking at this right now i don't see i don't really see this here that's an hour chart let's go to a 10 minute oh well I mean maybe it's gonna go down a little bit I mean it was really overbought here it was really oversold here so that caused the dip that caused a spike but right now things are kind of leveraging out a little I mean the volumes going to normal I mean you know as of right now it looks like I would probably, I might trade a little bit now. I might run the bot for a couple hours maybe, but I would keep an eye on the bit, the the, the price, um, because there's, 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 yeah, I mean, it, it went down. It might start going back up a little bit. Here's the thing, here's the thing though, like, while it's dipping, as soon as Asia wakes up, this is probably going to go back up. And it might hit 18. It might hit 19 overnight, honestly, because Asia is really, I feel like Asia controls the market more than you guys think. So, you know, this is, this is it's, it's a tricky call. But honestly, if I ran the bot, I would run it with a trigger. Um, I'll tell you guys about feeder. And I talked about, I talked about feeder in the video that I'm uploading tonight as well. Uh, but I can let you guys know, you know, basically they were not. So when, when I made my, my video on profit feeder live, uh, what is your strategy for reporting taxes? Oh, that's a good thing. We'll talk about that tonight too. Um, and crypto taxes. We'll change the subject a little bit before I publish this video. Um, so what, oh, I lost a lot of viewers. I guess you, they got bored. It's too long of a video. I might have to cut it short. Um, all right, so where was I here? Um, oh, Profit Feeder. So basically when I made the vo video live about Profit Feeder, they were so overloaded with sales so fast that they had to upgrade their server twice. And every order that came in, they were manually issuing. They didn't have their automated licensing system up yet. I think it is now. They told me this afternoon that it was going to go live tonight, but it, it wasn't. So I know Colin was just basically cranking out the licenses as they came in. Um, Ripple predictions, it's not centralized, or it's not decentralized. That's my prediction. I hate Ripple. What does Crow mean? Um, okay, I'll tell you guys. How, so when I was a kid... I was like a, a bit of an emo kid. I went through a dark phase, and I loved the movie The Crow. And I used to sit around drawing. I used to be kind of an artist. I'm not as much anymore, but I used to sit around and draw pictures from The Crow graphic novel, like for hours, for months. I just I drew. I practically redrew the entire graphic novel a couple times in different ways. And um, so now it's like the Crypto Crow. It just kind of I don't know. Sounds good. So I went with it, and that's the brand. It's the Crypto Crow. Crow your coins, baby. Um, so taxes, um, you know, here's the thing about taxes. What is that? Fi what is Ether hard for him? Thoughts? They're asking 0 0.005 ETH for their Ether Zero. Um, I can look at it. Uh, I don't really know. I've never heard of them. 
Jared. So I, I, I'd have to look at it. I, I, is that like a super chat thing, a $5 tip? That's really cool. I don't even know how that stuff works. Um, so um, I, I, I'll, maybe I'll pull it up. I'll give you a plug or something. I, I assume you're promoting it. Um, so taxes. Basically, the best thing I can so the whole crow your coins thing, that whole slogan is something that I'm pushing to get everybody to basically buy the coins and hold it all for a minimum of a year, specifically to screw the government out of the 39% capital gains tax. If you hold the coin for at least a year, as I understand it, the, the, the capital gains tax goes down to a, a, about 10%, which is much easier to write off than 39%. So if you crow your coin and you hold it for a solid year, then you, you, can, you can typically write things off. Now, let's say you invested, you know, five grand or 10 grand and it turned into a million dollars. Um, don't have to pay for that chat thing. Don't you have to pay for that chat thing? Um, I'm not sure what you mean, pay for that chat thing. Uh, he paid you to read his chat message. Oh, okay. I get it. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, I'm down for plugs. I'm all, I'm good with that. I don't even know where the money goes, but it's all fun. So, um, so yeah, if you if you if you have a fantastic 2018, as I expect every one of you guys to do, you know, ultimately what you you might want to do is uh, thanks prep for shit shift. <laughs> um. Crow, look at Devor. All right, so you might want to set up an LLC, basically. You can go to Click and Ink. I'll show you guys the, the site. Um, click and Ink. So Click and Ink. Where is it? Click and Ink, Click and Ink. Jagalang, Jagalang. Click and Ink. I don't know where the hell Click and Ink is. Well, anyway, it's clickinink.com, and you can basically file for a, uh, you know, an LLC, an S corp, a C corp, anything you want for like 250 bucks. I think you can actually get it for like 80 bucks, but I always went for the 250 because it gives you all the all your documents, your articles of incorporation, everything in a nice binder. You even get a little seal. Um, and I've been using that for years for all my LLCs, everything I do. And from what I understand, um, you. I think Wyoming and Vegas apparently have very favorable crypto laws right now. So, you know, what I'm hearing and what I'm reading is, you know, you just file for an LLC in Wyoming um, and you and, and they're very favorable and they help, it'll help you guys out with taxes. Now, I'm not a tax accountant. I'm not a CPA. I'm also not a financial advisor. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So, you know, do your own legwork and research, but that's that's probably what I'm going to end up doing for 2018. I do have an S Corp, um, which is my consulting company, and I'll probably file for an LLC specifically for my crypto holdings this year um, to help me with taxes. So let's go back up here real quick. I'm going to scroll up a bit and see what I missed. Um, I honestly don't know a whole hell of a lot about Ken. Um, oh, God. <laughs> How do you choose the right coins to trade with PT bot? You really don't. The bot finds them for you. Um, you can tell the bot what not to trade, and and it won't. It will. It'll leave those alone. But ultimately, it finds it. It find it does. Keep in mind, the bot doesn't care what the coin is. It doesn't care what the coin name is. It doesn't care what kind of technology is behind it. It doesn't care. It it it's looking for numbers, and when the numbers make sense, the bot acts, and that's it. So the bot looks for for numbers, not coins. Um, Crypto Crow YouTube pays it monthly, but takes thirty percent of super chat donations. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, so it's like a cap gains tax built in YouTube. <laughs> I am a man. Yes, I guess so. Uh, a dollar from Andrew Martinez. Thank you, sir. 517 people watching again. We got to make this interesting somehow. I'm hardcore. No, that was a bad joke. Uh, any of you guys, some of you guys are probably too, uh, uh, too young to even know what the hell that reference was to some crazy ass kid on the internet. Um, Ripple on Coinbase. Ah, uh, Coinbase came back, came out. I think today and squashed those rumors that they're not planning to add Ripple or anything else for that matter. Which is a bad move because Ethos is is. I mean, Ethos is growing and Ethos is gonna take over take over Coinbase. 
How, how many of you guys bought Ethos? So even those of you who bitched at me because I put my video out at $4 knowing I bought it at 2 only because I was so busy. How many of you guys bought Ethos at 4 bucks and still made 5 bucks a coin? I don't see anything. Here I have some Ethos. Uh, I bought Ethos. Ethos 2018. Okay, cool. Got Ethos in a 3.7. All right, cool. See, so you guys are still you guys still made money on that, even though I put my video out a little late. Um, so it's cool. I, you know, we're still we're still moving ahead. So far, every coin that I've put on my YouTube channel has gone up substantially. I'm pretty sure you guys can all agree with that. I don't think any of them have gone down. Um, they've all gone up. Now a lot of other coins have gone down. Got in at four bucks. Yeah, I mean four bucks is basically where I where I publish my video. So um, hopefully you guys think it's cool that I'm hanging out. Like it's late. I'm not answering my phone. I you know I've been so slammed with messages and emails and phone calls and everything. I just kind of wanted to hang out and talk to everybody, answer some questions and and chill. DNT is doing good. Yes, sir. Any idea about ADA? Yes, sir. Um, I love Cardano. I mean, Cardano is my flagship coin for 2018, and it, and it has been since 33 cents. So yeah, I mean, I, I love Cardano. I, I got 15,000 of them, and I'm good with that. If it goes up to where I expect it, I don't need any more than 15,000. Um, does Ethos have potential? Yes, it does. I think Ethos has ridiculous potential to go up beyond $100, especially, I mean, in 2018, let alone 2019. When Ethos launches its its apps and platforms and starts doing what it's going to do, that coin is going to fucking moon. That is my that is my opinion. Um, but Ethos is very likely going to moon hard. Um, I bought those at four dollars because of you and Supo Man. You know what? I just teased Supo Man in the video I'm going to upload tonight. I like Supo Man a lot, honestly. I mean the guy the guy's a smart cat. I, you know, Superman's a lot smarter than me. I mean, he, he's a smart guy. I watch his videos. I've joined his courses. I joined his courses really for no other reason than just to show support. Um, but you know, I, I like Superman a lot. I think he's. I think he's. I, he has a good time. I like him. Um, you said you got in a DOT at twelve cents. It's now thirty nine cents. Should I wait for a dip or hop on now? Um, that's a good question. Let's look at it real quick. Typically, I'm pulling everything up in Coinigy, but um, and I at least look at my indicators. But that's kind of a pain in the ass on live video. It is at 39 cents, up 50. Man, look at that. <laughs> Holy moly. So when you break it down into a seven-day chart, it's like not as big a deal. Um, it doesn't look like as huge a spike on a seven day chart, but I mean, it's looking pretty good. I mean, it's dipping a tiny bit. Here's the thing guys. Um, is it going to dip much further than the 39 cents? It might, but here, here's the thing. I know that everybody, and this is something that I was talking to somebody about with when I actually answered my phone today. Um, when it comes, USI Tech is having issues. Well, I'll just say that. I don't know 100% that they've been shut down. The news is that they're being shut down. I know they've been issued a big cease and desist in Texas, and it's probably going to change a whole bunch of stuff. That They're being investigated for being a scam operation, I guess. I don't know if that, I don't know if they are. I look at all of those as potential Ponzi's with lots of secrets, and I'm not down with it. So I actually, I actually had a guy, you know, it's funny. It's not funny. So if you're watching this, I am sorry. I do feel terrible. Um, but I had a guy came to me. He's a, he's a financial planner. And um, he couldn't, he couldn't, you know, he can't talk a, a lot about crypto or whatever. But he does want, he wanted to get into it. And he had 10 grand. And this was early on. This was like, I was talking to him. And then I was talking to my neighbor, who was my first client at the time. And, you know, this guy, you know, I was telling him about the crypto space and what I was doing in it and, you know, how I, you know, I'm, I'm here, you should buy this, you should do this. And he's like, well, I want to invest in crypto. I'd love to do it with you. Um, he says, but I've got some friends doing this USI tech thing. And, um, you know, I told him, I said, look, man, I'm not trying to sell you on using me or going through me at all, but I would definitely not put your money in that. I said, you just don't know what its shelf life is going to be. And if something happens while well, you've got 10 grand locked up in there, you're not getting it back. 
And um, he's like, oh, yeah, it's cool. But, man, you know, my buddies, they've been in this thing for a while now. They've been making a lot of money. And I'm like, you know, okay, well, you know, let me know what you decide. Well, he put his ten grand in there, and now he lost it. And the guy who did invest with me at the time, his portfolio is worth about a hundred grand, and he only started with thirty five hundred. So if the guy would have came to me with his ten grand at the time, and I did the same investments that I did with my other, my first client at the time, that ten grand would probably be four hundred thousand dollars right now. Sorry for your luck, man, but you got to listen. You always go with the crow. That's all I can tell you. Go with the crow and crow your coins. So yeah, DNT. I, I like DNT. The the point I was going to make though is when when you're talking about what do I want to buy? What what coins do I want? I had a guy say, "Well, if I had $60,000 and I put it all into Bitcoin, will Bitcoin go enough? Will like how far will Bitcoin go?" And I said, "Well, let's look at it. Let's say you spent $60,000 and you bought maybe it's, let's just say you bought 5 Bitcoin with it. Let's say Bitcoin went up $2,000 each. That's $10,000 in profit. Is that worth it? When you could buy some of these other coins, you know, like Cardano, like let's say you bought $60,000 worth of Cardano. I don't want to calculate everything right now, but you know, if you, the idea is you put that money to work at a coin that you know is going to go up and you can get, you know, 200,000 or 300,000 of a coin that goes up even 50 cents. How much more money are you making with that than you are buying five Bitcoin? It goes up two or two grand each, making you ten thousand dollars. So let, let's let's say Cardano. Let's say if if he did this when Cardano was thirty three cents. So we'll take sixty. You're not seeing this, but sixty thousand dollars. We're going to divide that by point thirty three. That's one hundred eighty one thousand eight hundred eighteen Cardano. Okay. Now, if that went up to a dollar, then you're you're talking about well almost two hundred thousand dollars. So I mean, there you go. It's a, it's a real simple calculation. So if you were to put the money into Cardano and you you buy sixty thousand dollars worth of thirty three cents, it goes up to a buck. You know, you're 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 making a hundred and I don't know one hundred sixty thousand dollars in profit over the ten thousand dollars in profit that you're going to make off of buying five Bitcoin for ten grand a piece. So, or, or, or $60,000 worth of Bitcoin and it goes up two grain a piece, whatever. You get my point. Um, <laughs> so, wow, this lagged really hard. I hope you guys even saw any of that or heard any of that. Um, wallet series, ICOs, BitConnect X, Tron. Tron I like. I like Tron. I bought into Tron. I did a video about it. It's like tripled or quadrupled since my video. So, um, Look, look, do I have to purchase PT Feeder and Profit Trailer to make this work? No, you don't. You don't have to buy PT Feeder. PT Feeder is really good in a sideways market, and you accumulate much less bags. So it, it, it frees up, it, basically PT Feeder frees up more capital to make more trades, and it's, it's very good at what it does. But nothing can withstand, you know, a two thousand dollar spike overnight in the market. I mean, it's you're going to have bags regardless, unless you put a hard. Um, what's up, Crypto Garney? Um, unless you, you know, you put a hard trigger on there. So let's see what else we got here. I don't know how long I should make this video. Are you guys enjoying this at all? You guys played out on it already. I do have a video that I'm going to be uploading as soon as I'm done about ICOs you need to you, that that are worth looking into as soon as they hit exchanges. Um, Neo, I like Neo. It's definitely got a huge future. I own some of it. I have some clients in Neo. I had some of my clients buy Neo when it was, I think it was actually thirty bucks when we got in. Um, oh, okay, cool. Loving it. Sweet. Enjoying. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> I like hanging out with you guys too. To be honest with you, my wife's asleep. The whole family's asleep. It's twelve o'clock in at night. So uh, I figure, what else am I going to do other than check emails, <laughs> look at agreements. I love you too, Gray. EOS. I see, you know, I I wish, I don't really, I have not done a lot of research on EOS, guys, to be real honest with you. I know it's probably going to moon. It's probably going to do well just based off of the pulse, but I don't know a lot about EOS. I really need to dive deeper into it. The last stuff I read about EOS was, was that it was a flimsy kind of scam, to be honest. That, like, it, it wasn't going to amount to a whole hell of a lot. Um... Nucleus Vision looks really good. I almost put that in my video tonight, but I didn't. Um, I think I think their ICO is over, though, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm definitely going to be looking out for that on, on exchanges. Crypto Crow, you rock. 
My family is asleep too, but I love making money <laughs> with Ripto. <laughs> well, me too, Mike. <laughs> um, Verge, obviously I like Verge, did a video. Look, I here's the thing, and, I, and I'm going to let you guys know too. I've been getting um, ICO companies reaching out to me recently. And um, there's one that I'm talking to. I actually think they have a pretty cool idea. But I, I'm still kind of digging into it with them. But I'm having ICO companies that basically want to pay me to promote them to you. Okay? And I've mentioned this before, but I think it's starting to get a little bit more serious right now. Um, and uh, good night, human evolution. Um, but I, I definitely want to let you guys know, like, if, I, if somebody pays me for a review, A, I'm only going to do a review if I like the platform, if I like the coin, if I like the potential. And if somebody offers me a ridiculous amount of money, like like um, with Profit Feeder, I mean, they had to upgrade their servers twice because of the video and because of all the traffic. And they, they're still just, he said they were getting a sale every minute um, the entire day. And I think he said today, like later than the afternoon today, it started, excuse me, it started dying down to a sale every five minutes. So, you know, it, it there's obviously a crypto crow effect, if you will. Um, and there are a lot of ICO companies that I know are interested in capitalizing on that. And that's fine. But I just want to always, I, I guess I'm just letting you guys know, I'm always going to be very transparent with you. If I'm talking about an ICO coin, even if I love it, and I'm, I'm still going to let you guys know that I'm being paid. I'm being paid to tell you about it. Um, if there's a way to turn, uh, here's the thing. With all the investments and, and the wallet management and all the stuff that I do, I'm likely not going to see a dime of any of that for a year, right? I, if I hold true to, you know, crow in my coins and, and my clients crow their coins, then, I, you know, I'm not going to see any of that for a year. So, you know, the, the, the referrals and the Udemy courses and these other things, the merchandise that I'm working on, all this other stuff, that's all potentially going to help me really upgrade my studio, my environment, spend a lot more time just doing. If I could do this full time, honestly, I think I would. Would I just solely invest for people full time? No, I would not. Because the, the, the YouTube channel and the emails and the messages and everything else that's associated with what I'm doing right now truly touches me and my wife. Like, I was super emotional yesterday about just how this is all blowing up. And my wife, like, my wife really gave me the approval. Like, I, my wife is behind it 100% now. And that's a big deal. Because <laughs> my, wife, my wife is like, she's always blowing me off. So, um, you know, with ideas and things. So, anyway, that was a little tangent. Let's see what you guys, what am I missing here in chat? Um, crow your coins, absolutely. I love it. I love it. Um, I so I swear to God, when you guys see these, so out here I'll tell you guys. Um, since we're just kind of hanging out, um, I, I just installed Profit Trailer with Feeder and made twenty bucks in the last ten minutes. <laughs> That's not very much, but I don't know what your starting budget is. So, um, if you're happy with twenty bucks in ten minutes, then fantastic. I made I I I'm pretty sure you guys know I made fifteen hundred dollars that first day. Um, and then of course, because Bitcoin is just Bitcoin, it shot up two grand that night and left me with some bags, like bags that I got to get rid of. Um, shout out to Madam Crow. I'll, I'll put her on here sometime. Actually, maybe I can show you guys a picture of her. Oh wait, well, shoot, my phone just locked up. I'll show you a picture. I'll show you on my phone when it, um, when it comes back up. I don't know if I can here. My wife is great. So I'm seven feet tall. My wife is only five feet tall. Um, she used to be a competitive gymnast. So she's like really, really small. Um, I'm trying to find like a picture on my phone. Here, this is, <laughs> this is my wallpaper on my phone. Let's see if, I can't tell if you can see it or not because of the delay, so I have to wait a minute. No. <laughs> anyway, she'll, um, I'll probably, I'll put her on here sometime. She's really hot. I have to say, love you, honey. Um, so that's Madam Crow. She's even got jet black hair, just like a crow. So there you go. I must be a poet tonight. Uh, trophy wife. Yeah. I always tell her. So she, she used to be a personal fitness trainer and a gymnast and all this other stuff for 10 years. 
and she works out every day for like an hour and a half. She's a machine. She's super strong, and it, like she doesn't show up, but if she like flexes, she's ripped. She used to compete in figure two in bikini, and I'm just a tall, fat guy. So I always tell her like I have to go to the gym sometimes when I start getting a little, a little too out of out of out of whack because I don't want anybody to think I'm the rich husband. <laughs> crypto wife, yes, crypto wife. She'll like that too. Um, crypto gymnast wife. I'm ten feet. That would suck. Your knees got to hurt. Um, she would still kick your ass. Yes. And you know what's funny? When we were first dating, she, I, we were wasted. Like, this was years ago. This is like the first, I don't know, probably six months we were together. I was a, t I was a lot different back then because I was still, I was just coming out of MMA and mixed martial arts and dealing with all of that. And so I was a little more aggressive. And um, But anyway, to make a long story short, we got in this big argument. And the next day... My jaw hurt so bad. I had been hit with bottles, pool cues. I used to bounce in bars. Like the day I turned 18, I used to I started bouncing in clubs. I've been hit with everything. I've I've been in fights with multiple people. I've I've experienced all that stuff, right? Nobody has ever hit me harder than my wife did that night. My little five foot wife. And the next day I said, how the hell did you reach me? And she said, because you were in my face yelling at me. And she gave me a hook. And apparently it hurt so bad because my mouth was open while I was yelling. And like we, my wife and I never fight. Like we've, we've been in, I don't know, two or three like big fights, maybe four, I guess in like seven years. Um, but that was a doozy. She did what my ass and there was nothing I could do about it. All right. So, so curious about these bots you speak of. Can you touch on those? I mean, just go through my channel. Um, I, I've got lots of them. You do not need um, Profit Feeder to to run Profit Trailer. Profit Feeder just really makes, I mean, if I did $600 in a day with regular Profit Trailer settings, I did $1,500 um, with feeder settings. So, yeah. Abby B. What's up, Abby B.? Uh, 525 people watching. So I'll probably, we'll see what's going on here. Um, cause I didn't really have a plan for this live video, so I don't want to waste everybody's time. Um, but you know, we're at 42 minutes, so I'll probably hang out for a few more minutes. If you guys have any other questions or anything that's going on, um, you're seven feet tall, quit crypto and start hooping. I got to be honest with you. I was terrible at basketball. I could jump kick the net, but I've never dunked the ball. Um, damn, this chat moves so fast. Hey, Crow, how much should I have invested in crypto? Where should I buy Profit Trailer? Just click the links under the video. Um, so, like, well, not this video yet, but when this video publishes, there'll be links right underneath it to get Profit Trailer, Profit Feeder. And if you scroll down, like, if you click more, there's a link for my Udemy course, which I really hope all of you go. Th it's I, the My coupon code's for 10 bucks, so you get it for $10. Um, and that helps me a lot. I can't tell you how. Um, I really never realized, um, honestly, how much money you could make on Udemy. Um, but that course, I did put some time into it, and the feedback I've been getting from it is fantastic. Um, but, uh, yeah, I didn't realize how much money you can actually make with Udemy, and it's doing really well. So that's really helpful. Um, Binance, if you're going to join the Binance, ex Binance Exchange for your bot, use my referral link. That will help me out a lot, too. There's um, For the VPS, there's a referral link, all kinds of referral links, and then a lot of my social media links. Oh, and for those of you who are curious, Moonrunner <clears throat> is going into the next phase of the development. So my developer got a, the, like this modular system done. He's got he got all this stuff done. He did a hard reset on the database, and now he's working into actual the um, the the cryptocurrency portfolio management module. When that segment is done, then I think we can start beta testing. I'm pumped because I need it so bad. I I <clears throat> out of like 400 people who have reached out to me recently wanting wallet management help. Um, and you know, the ICO stuff the, I, I, I basically, I, I took 90 of them right now. And then I hashed out the link on my website that, you know, the apply now link. 
And I've been considering doing some kind of like a weekly, biweekly or monthly kind of newsletter where I go over, you know, my opinions on, you know, uh, upcoming ICOs that I think are solid, current ICOs, past ICOs that you should look for on the exchanges. Um, I kind of want to leave the like ICOs that you're going to, that you want to look for on exchanges as part of my YouTube channel. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out what to do with all that. <clears throat> But yeah, Moonrunner is going to be sick. And, you know, the the Moonrunner ICO um, or token sale, it's really not an ICO. Um, SEC will nab me for saying it's a to or an ICO. Um, but yeah, that's <clears throat> Crypto Crow attacks the day with an enthusiasm unknown to mankind. <laughs> that's funny, Brian. Um, but yeah, the, the, I, I am pumped about Moonrunner. I, honestly, so I was looking all over the place, all over the internet trying to find a platform just like Moonrunner. And when when I didn't find anything, I mean, I need to I need to manage multiple portfolios and I need a lot of tools. I want to know, you know, the blog content, I want social media content, I want hashtags popping up. I want to know what the pulse is of the coins and all that. And um, there wasn't anything like it. And so that's when I talked to a friend of mine. I said, look, man, this is a platform that I want to build for me and because I know as crypto continues to grow, there're going to be a lot more guys like me. And I want to give everybody the tools they need to manage the portfolios properly. And um, he's like, let's do it. I, he's, he's been wanting to get into blockchain development for a long time. He's been studying it and learning it. He's been doing big enterprise development projects for like two, 20 years, 30 years. I think, he's, I think he might be a little older than me. Ooh, sorry, Nick. Um, so, yeah, I'm super pumped because the... If anything's ever going to enable me to be self-employed once again, it's probably going to be Moonrunner um, because it's just it's going to be huge. Now, as far as the ICO or the token sale or whatever you want to call it, um, I I have it. Thoughts on Sia Coin? I actually like Sia Coin, and I well, my mining rig duels Ethereum and Sia Coin at the same time. Um, so yeah, I've actually mined Sia Coin. So. And it just, I think it just got to four cents. And it, it's one of those things that I, I always look at it as kind of a good bot trade because it's always kind of hanging out around two cents to three cents and now four cents. And then I'll go, it's just, it bounces all over the place. And as far as Sia coin, they have a, um, shit, I don't remember what it's called. Um, but Sia coin has a thingamajig, obelisk. There it is. Let's see if you can see this. Obelisk, did they sell out? Oh, 640. So anyway, oh, they're in batch two. So it's like 1599. Wow, I, you know what? I didn't think they, for the longest time, they had not sold that many pre-orders of this miner, but there's a miner called the Obelisk that's sole purpose is mining Sia coin. And when this thing starts kicking in and people are starting to mine the shit out of Sia coin, it's going to go up, folks. I'm, I, I'm probably going to put some money into Sia coin here fairly soon, just so you guys know. Because when these miners go in, the volume, the trade activity for Sia coin is going to start getting a lot more volatile and a lot more active. Because all these miners are going to be wanting to do stuff with it. Um, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, can we find a day job and keep hooking us up, bro? I'm going to try. Look, the support I've been getting from you guys as a community, I mean, between, you know, the, the affiliate links and all that stuff, if I, if I can figure out how to properly monetize what I'm doing to the point where I, it's self-sustaining and it's consistent, uh, I would love to. Um, but right now, I mean, I, you know, I do pretty well in the mortgage industry and, and just so you guys know, I can close home loans anywhere in the country. So it doesn't matter where you are. If you guys are going to buy a house or you need a refinance, um, let me know because I can't help. Um, I thought about Patreon. Um, I might I might do Patreon, actually. I've thought about that. But I don't really know what's a fair price point. You guys tell me. what's a, If I'm giving you guys... So I know that a lot of you guys have been making money off my videos so far. Um, like, what's a fair price point? Like, if I did a Patreon... You know, I, help me help you kind of, you know, like how I don't I'm not a greedy guy, but I, it's like to run a Patreon and to do what I want to do. It would actually be pretty. It's like I mean, it's kind of a job. So, you know, you guys give me an idea. One to 150, 100 to 1000. I'm not sure what that is. One fifty hundred thousand. Um, forget Patreon being influencer. 
allow people to donate what they want. Nobody's ever donated really anything to me. Um, one million. Help me help you. Help me help you. Um, sorry for trolling. Can be an ass at times. All right. Um, here's the thing. Like, my ICO picks, honestly, are solid. Like, so far, they've been solid. Like, every ICO I've bought into is, I mean, they're all... Even old ICOs before that I bought into before I really knew what the hell I was doing, all of those are, I think, my smallest one's up 200-something percent. Um, Good night, Ariel Castillo. Castillo. Uh, 25 or 50. Honestly, Tyler, that's what I was thinking. I mean, 25 or 50, because if I'm giving good information, even people... Because I had to increase my minimum, I, I no longer I'm no longer taking thousand dollar clients. Like it's a five grand minimum. So the people that still want to benefit, but they don't have five grand in Ethereum to invest in ICOs, they can still do it themselves. If the content of my monthly subscription service is good, where if I say, okay, this is an ICO I'm buying, and here's all the steps, this is exactly how I bought it. You know, showing people step by step how to do things, not just saying, you know. And honestly, I would probably structure it as, hey, guys, you know, here are three ICOs that I'm buying today. Here's exactly how I'm doing it. So I'm not telling you, I'm not selling you necessarily financial information. I'm just showing you in little tutorials how I went about purchasing, like what steps I had to go through and so forth. So I'm still kind of mulling it over. I just don't want the SEC to ever come at me knocking on my door saying, well, you're selling financial information and you know there, there just isn't any license for this so uh, i don't see how they could but you know i mean groups like that they they can get crafty if for whatever reason they see as a threat or a problem <laughs> i don't ever want to be that um any word out there on a wallet begin made to handle all coins ethos ethos is going to be a universal wallet that handles everything it's one of the reasons why it's so huge um so it's funny because anytime somebody says a cuss word, it shows up to me. I can either show it or delete it. That's interesting. ICO list, please. Um, I figure we got eight minutes because I'll probably cut this at a full hour. I, for, a live, for a live chat, I don't know how interesting these are to people who aren't actually here. Uh, hopefully there's a lot of good information here for everybody. Um, I'll hide that one, Stephen. Uh Crow, is it best to put PT in SON mode? Yeah, probably now. I mean, I would put it in, I would put the bot, especially if you don't have feeder. Um, uh, either way, I would probably put the bot in sell only mode if you're not at least well, being able to check on it every hour. Um, what do you think of, you know, I haven't researched any of those three coins yet. Don't know anything about that. Crow coin, crow coin. I'm working on it. It's still there. I created the I created the crow coin on the ERC twenty blockchain, and I do have a smart contract. Um, but nobody did anything with it. Like when I was linking it in my description, and I was trying to test it, nobody did anything with it. So I just removed it, and I figured I'll use it for something else. Um, check out some. All right. What's your thoughts on? Doggy coin. I, you know, I'm shocked. I mean, wasn't doggy coin like a joke? Like, I don't even think that was expected to be anything. I just think it's been so cheap for so long that it's like in everybody's wallet somehow. So like it's, it's active and I guess therefore speculatively valuable. I, I don't know. I'm not big on doggy coin. I just, Will Tron reach one dollar in twenty eighteen? I sure as hell hope so because I bought like forty thousand of them, and re like recently, like I think I don't even remember what they were. I'd have to go back to the video, but all the, a lot of these coins I've, like if it's if I buy into a coin that I think is going to do well in the future, I make a video and I tell you guys about it. Um, the only one that I took, that took me a while was the ethos coin. Cause I bought it at two bucks and I got really busy. And by the time I got around to making a video about it, it was already up to four and now it's up to like nine or $10 and actually got up to 13. So even though some of you guys are giving me a hard time about it being late, you guys still made money if you bought it. 
Um, and I'm holding it. Like every coin I tell you guys about, I'm holding them for a year. Just so you know, you never have to ask me, did you sell this? No. If there's something else I want to buy, I just buy it with new money. I'm not selling one for the other. Crow your coins. That's what it's all about. Crow your coins. Love you too, K. Wyatt. Um, Dodge coin will surpass Ripple. I don't know, man. That, that's, I doubt it, but. Um, is Sar Cardano safe to go long on for 2018? My opinion, absolutely. Cardano is like if I had a, if I had if like everything about the crypto crow were summed up into one coin, I would consider Cardano that coin. If everything that I believe in, that I love, appreciate, and respect about cryptocurrency were wrapped up into a coin, it would be Cardano. And I'm not kidding. That's why I, I love Cardano. The more and more I read, the more videos that the development teams put out, the more I understand about it, the, I just, I love it. I love it. Like, I am hoping and praying that Cardano makes me a millionaire all by itself in 2018 because I'll probably put a Cardano shrine somewhere. Good, Dustin. I'm glad it's working well for you. Just make sure you keep an eye on it right now with Bitcoin being crazy. Um, is this a scam? Because if I lose my investment, I will take my life. What are you talking about? I'm not down with that, yo. Um, if you, if you're investing anything that would cause you to end your life over, you need to keep it. It's simple. Tron or Cardano? Mm, Cardano. I mean, for me, I, I bought a lot more Tron because it's so cheap. So if I had, if I had a thousand dollars or I had a couple grand and I were, Ooh, shit about knock my phone over. If I had either one of those, I would probably put, ah, man, I don't know. I don't know, but I, I would probably get both of them somehow. Um, Steven, uh, how long-term is an ICO investment? Love your vids. Thank you, Steven. I appreciate that. Um, for me, an ICO investment is is a year, you know? So for those of you new, I'm all about, like, uh, you're going to hear me say all the time, crow my coins. I'm going to crow my coins. Crow your coins. Hold your coins for at least a year so that your capital gains tax goes down to as little as 10% instead of up to 39%. Um, that's what crow your coin means, man. Like, it's all about just save it. You know, you get you see the hold all, hold all. Hold your coins. People hold for a month. People can hold for three months. You crow your coins, that means you're keeping them for a year. It's a year commitment to crow your coins. That's what that's what that means. And that's what I'm that's a part of my whole brand is crow your coins. Because a lot of people lose money in cryptocurrency because they buy something, they see it dip because and they don't understand what's happening. So they see it dip and they think it's like a stock, right? They think, oh my God, the sky is falling. I need to get out of this. And so they, they, they sell at a loss. I have never sold a coin at a loss. And, and all the coins, even the old shit coins that I bought when I first got into crypto, I still have them. And you know what? The old shit coins that I bought are all at profit. I even bought 54,800 Ember coin. And even that's up 565%. <laughs> from when I bought it. Um, every ICO coin I've ever bought is up. I mean, I think, let me look at the lowest. The lowest, um, it looks like the lowest is 111%. Um, so, yeah, I mean, even, even all my old shit coins are worth more. So I, I'm all about holding long because you never know what's going to happen. You never know. In crypto, because everything is still so new, you never know. I'm going to be getting real in-depth about Cardano in, in, in a future video. I'm going to do like a very like in-depth kind of expose on it, much more than the original Cardano video uh, that I did. Um, Tron, Cardano equals apples and oranges. You're right. I agree with that. Thoughts on Stellar? I don't. I don't have any thoughts on Stellar. I, I've read about it, but not enough to try and educate anybody on it. I need a Crypto Crow t-shirt too. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie Denton. Oh, Robbie Denton. 
You're you're uh you're you are an official crypto crow, man. Now, uh, glad to have you live. Uh, Bitconnect X ICO. I I you know I'm not buying into it. I don't think if I bought into the Bitconnect X ICO, I would probably literally I would take money out of what I have at Bitconnect right now and then put it in the ICO. I'll let one pay for the other. How's that? I put 300 bucks in BitConnect back in August. It's like $1,000 now. Whoop-de-doo. Um, if I would have just bought B Bitcoin and saved it, I'd be up a hell of a lot more. Honestly, to me, BitConnect, the whole business model of BitConnect is a joke. Um, because if you, just bought the, if you just bought Bitcoin and held it, you'd make a lot more money. The people who are make like, like uh, Trevon James and all these guys, those people are making their real money from their affiliates. They're, it's, they're making money by telling other people to join under them. And then they're using that money to reinvest, which they're, they're increasing their daily compound interest that way. But the bulk of their money, don't let them kid you, the bulk of their money is being made from their affiliates. I, I have a channel that's big enough now. I can be pr promoting the hell out of BitConnect. But I'm not going to do that to you guys because, A, I, I just, I don't believe in BitConnect enough. I, you know... Any way I break down their business model, I thank you for that. Um, but any way I break down their business model, do I think it's sustainable? Yeah, I do. But I think it's the the more I've kind of broken things down, the more I kind of realize it's a fool's game, right? You're you're basically giving them money. <laughs> it, it's just bad. It's just stupid. Like the the fact that I even put three hundred bucks into it, even though I made you know, $700 in profit, it's still kind of stupid. I would have made more money at the time just putting 300 bucks into Bitcoin and holding it, honestly. Um, and so, yeah, I'm not, I even, I, I'm just, I'm not even going to promote that to you guys, even though I know I could probably make money with it. I don't believe enough in it to push it to you. Um, never selling at a loss. Sounds like you need a fucking expose on yourself. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm not a loser. Um, nothing wrong with affiliate marketing, but it shouldn't be involved with another means of creating income. That's what ultimately makes it a scam. By the way, you are a champ, Jason. Thanks for all the amazing work you do for the community. Thank you, man. Footy is life. I love it. Um, all right, so I'm going to finish going through these questions here and try not to run onto a tangent because we're cutting over an hour. We have almost 600 people watching. That's definitely a huge record for me. OMG. Yeah, I own OMG. O Omise. Omise go. Uh, I'm all about it. Um, explain PT feeder. Oh, I will in another video. We don't have enough time. It helps you make more money with less bags. That's ultimately what it does. Um, and it, it changes all of your settings. PT Feeder studies the market, constantly analyzing every pair on the market that's available to the bot and changes your pair's files to accommodate the current market changes every three minutes. That's what PT Feeder does. Uh, U.S. Citizen ICO Regulation. I go into that in the video that I'm actually going to be uploading here as soon as I'm done with this live stuff. I would leave my wife to marry you. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely interested. Um, my eyes are really starting to flare up. I'm going to start looking like an alien here. I always talk about how I'm always rubbing my face down here in the basement because the air is so dry in the winter, and I just my allergies start to flare up. Um, what is this? Oh, these are, oh, I missed all these super chats. Wow, there's a lot of these super chats. I missed all these, guys. Um, holy cow. Oyster Pearl, seen yet or heard of? No, I have not, Anthony. Um, thoughts on Sea of Coin? I know I touched that. I saw that one. How long is an ICO investment? Touched that one. Can you talk about bread? Honestly, I saw the bread ICO, but I wasn't all that impressed with it. Um what other coins do you think will perform as well as Cardano this year? I mean, I'm writing, I've been putting videos out about them. I mean, I, um, Monero, Monero's probably going to go up, I, I'm guessing. But I also think that, so if I were to look at Monero and I were to look at Verge coin, I would assume that Verge coin will likely do a little better because it's so much cheaper. 
So if, especially if I'm fairly new to the crypto space, and if for whatever reason I think one of these stealth coins is going to help me avoid taxes somehow, I'm probably going to opt for the cheaper coin that potentially does the same thing. And if a lot of people do that, it's probably going to drive Verge price up. That's my guess, but I don't know for sure. Uh, I'm going to hold on to Crypto Crow for the long term. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how to take that, but cool. <laughs> um S uh, C V Civic. I own some Civic, but I have not been all that impressed with it. I, I, I did buy some, but I it's it's just it's kind of an underperformer. It's not doing terrible, but uh, I'm not even sure where it is. But we're, I'm going to probably close this up here real soon. So, but I'll, I'll look into it in the future. Um, can't believe Tron passed Verge so quick. Um, thoughts on Pack? Would you mentor a kid under 18? Man, I would love to, but I I just don't think... I mean, with all the laws and the regulations and all the craziness going on right now, I, who knows if that would even be prudent. I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, people keep coming in here, but I feel like I, I shouldn't be taking this long on a live video. Um, Electronium. Electronium just spiked today because their, their uh, beta platform for the mobile mining just went out. So that's going to... Look, I, I was really bullish on Electronium, and I still, I mean, oh, I, Electronium is one of those things that it could go either way. I was hearing some rumors, but, I, you know, there are rumors about just about every coin out there. So, I, you know, I don't know 100% what's up with Electronium. You know, originally, I, you know, I did some videos about Electronium in the past. I mean, I bought in at ICO for a penny, so, I, you know, it's all profit. I put my first client in. I got him almost 40,000 of them. So, you know, it's it's a fun coin. I think it's a big marketing coin more than anything, but I also think it's going to be a big gateway for youngsters. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be that coin that all the kids in high school use. That's what I think about Electronium. I think if if is it ever going to be utilized for real serious transactions? Probably not, but I could be wrong, but I'm thinking no. I'm thinking it's going to be more about how many youngsters in school, grade school, high school are using it, mining it on their phones, checking it every, at lunch to see how much more electronium they have. And, and, you know, if electronium were smart, they would come out with some applications that utilize electronium that kids would like. Because that is, I'm a marketing guy. I've been marketing and, and business development my whole life. And when I think of Electronium and, and just the simulated mining system for mobile platforms, it's going to be the high schoolers and the grade schoolers using this. Like you have that, um, the crypto kitties kind of thing. They need to come out with something like that on the Electronium platform. That is what is going to send Electronium through the moon. They need to be focused on something like that, as well as obviously getting making sure they're mining and their wallets and everything else works and they're secure. But if they can take that Electronium and start putting Putting it and attaching it to other things that people in that demographic and that age group are going to care about, Electronium will, will there's no there's no end in sight, like in terms of what what it could accomplish. Um, so will they do that? I don't know, um, but uh, we'll see. But I, I mean, I, I like Electronium for what it is, or Electronium for what it is. Okay, um, Deep Brain Chain. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds like a porn thing, I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, uh, which coin is he talking about? I was talking about Electronium, if that's what you're referring to. Um, is the 5K of ETH a JV deal with you on ICOs where you get a percentage or just your consulting guidance fee? So like my wallet management stuff, I basically get 20% of the profits I generate, but I don't make money unless my clients do. Um, and I don't charge, you know, upfront fees. I heard there's somebody doing something similar. They charge like three grand a year or three grand a month, or I don't know what they, what it is. I've heard of some other guys, they charge like 50%. I'm not greedy. I'm really not a greedy guy, but, um, it's nice to make it at least worth the time. I like your honesty. So many fake ass YouTubers that hate on the altcoins. You seem like a straight shooter. Um, you know, I, there's plenty of everything to go around, man. I, you know, I know that. A lot of these guys, a lot of these YouTubers, they got into Bitcoin and stuff early, so they've got a ton of it, and so they're all bullish about Bitcoin, and it's like, I get it, and it's cool. Um, 
you know, I just like I watched another video uh, recently of a guy just hating on all crypto space, and he's like, you know, I'm a futures trader. He's he's like. You know, he he reminded me of like the the like I don't know like the ugly kid or the ugly friend or the fat friend who is like always down on himself. So he just doesn't do anything. He just kind of sits around and and complains about how the rest of the world around him has a life. You know, but it's like that's a personal choice. You know what I mean? I'm fat. Like I've got moobs, and you know, but it's my fault because I'm not in the gym every day. I'm not going to blame the world around me because of the way I am. I feel like this guy in his videos came off to me as somebody who just, he's a beard guy. He's a bearded guy. He's got a white beard. And yeah, if you're watching this, dude, your videos were just like depressing as hell. And, and a lot of it didn't even make sense to me, to be quite honest with you. And I made some comments in your, in your chat as well. I mean, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But when I see people trying to push everything else down, because I think he's trying to, I think he's got a lot, he's into the futures market. So he's basically talking everything down to try and push everything down so that he makes money on his futures and, and all that. And it's like, you know, whatever. I guess I hope it works out. Um, hey, guys, I appreciate everything tonight. I'm going to upload this video. It's 1 in the morning for me. Uh, I want you to handle my wallet. Please email me. Look, just so you guys know, I've had like 400. Um, if you email me, fine. But all the phone calls, I don't even answer my phone anymore because I cannot handle all the phone calls. My voicemail fills up so fast. Email me if you want to get a hold of me um, or hit me up on the Crypto Crow Group Telegram channel because I bounce in and out of there a lot. Um, I can't say I'm going to address everything, but I do click the little at symbol where I know I'm being beckoned for different things and I read out every one of them. Um, but messages on Facebook, messages on Discord. I'm not very good about Discord, to be honest. I go in there and I talk to the group and I do a lot of that stuff. But I don't like to communicate with me one-on-one -on -one about important issues. And just know, folks, I can never, ever tell you what you're going to buy. I, if you come to me and say, oh, you know, like uh, I work on a farm and I've got a family of 80 and I've got a thousand bucks. What do I do with it? I cannot tell you um, what to do with it. The only thing I can really tell you to do is I am going to be working out a map. Um, like a, a channel guide on my website here soon so that every night you're going to know what kind of video I'm, pro I'm probably going to be putting out and I'm going to start planning for those videos way ahead of time. Um, doing research and really kind of trying to build this YouTube brand um, and get a lot more serious about it. So, you know, it, that content, hopefully, like it has so far, uh, will help you guys figure out what to do with your own money. But I can't tell you specifically what to do. you got to do your own research. So um, on that note, everybody, I appreciate you all um, very deeply. And from now on, make sure you crow your coins. See you guys.